Well, y'all, welcome back. I'm still out here on the road. Um, I'm in like central Nebraska right now, kind of getting into the sand hills. And there's just this little pull off on the highway right here. And they call it a scenic overlook. It's kind of nice. You can see the river down there. Maybe you guys can see it. Over there also. That's not a bad view out that way. The sign kind of ruins it. And I've been on the road for about four hours this morning. I've only got about an hour left to go uh, to meet up with those guys at the lake up here. So I figured I'd stop. I don't know if I've ever stopped at this. I've driven by it a few times and it's kind of neat. Um, I don't know if you guys can see those. I don't know what those are. They're, they're stone sticking up. Little markers. Looks like people have walked down through here. The view over here is a little bit better. There we go. That looks kind of nice. See the river off in the distance as it goes by down there. Be nice. Like I like trees, but you can't really see much considering it's a scenic overlook. And you just got a hill over here. Be nice if we get on that hill. But why don't we hop back in the rig here and keep on heading down the road? Uh, I had to stop and pick up a few things. And uh, I bought a bundle of firewood. And I, man, I've had that wood pile in my backyard for so long now it's pretty painful to spend ten dollars on a crappy bundle of wood but is what it is right oh the old van's running out just perfect though i left the keys in it We've made it. Back this turd in here. Howdy, howdy. What's up? What's up, puppies? Hi. You too. How's the trip been? It's been good. Yeah. A lot of driving. When did you guys take off to go up there? Uh, we left Friday morning. We were there Friday and then Saturday, Sunday. Then we got up yesterday and drove to that campground in South Dakota. And then, what'd you think of that? It's nice up there. Yeah. Was that that was your first time up there? Yeah. Yeah. In the yeah. Badlands. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh. Yeah. Really pretty. All right, y'all. It's time to crack a beer. All right. Grabbed a beer out of the cooler. Kyle's going to get his tent set up. I don't know if I've ever watched him set this thing up, so we'll have to check it out. He put new uh, a new bed rack on. And he's got some other fancy bits. I've been wanting one of these, so we'll check that out later. It's a light on a stick. Looks pretty level. Not too shabby. Last time Kyle came out and met me at camp, it was pretty dark, so I don't know if you saw it, but uh, you guys gotta check out the Lego head on his air cleaner here on the snorkel. Look at that. That's legit. Do you get a lot of looks? Can you tell people are looking at it when you're driving? Oh, like yeah. most of the time it's like confusion. Yeah. But there's been plenty of people that have mentioned they like think it's cool or whatever. It was just you know, everybody's got a snorkel at Overland Expo, so I just put it on there for the hell of it. So Did you see anybody else have one there? No. That's that's awesome. Well, and he said they're making a couple of different ones, like a skeleton head and yeah, stuff for, for uh for Halloween, but 
Why don't we crack this drink open while he gets his windows open? I picked this up at a gas station around here. It's called Outlaw Mile High Light Beer. Um, punch the pickaxe. Outlaw Daredevil since 1859. Enjoy the gold. So this has to be out of Colorado. Yeah. Tivoli Brewing, Denver, Colorado, 4.2%. We'll give this a whirl. Don't have my cup with me, so. Just looks like a light beer. Not too shabby. I didn't realize that was a vestibule on the front there. What's that? Vestibule. I don't I even thought, know what that word means. Uh, <laughs> like your little awning thing, I guess. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, plenty of windows. Sets up quick. That's I was I was curious how quickly it went. Let's take a sip of this beer. Oop, turn to the lights the right way. Not too shabby. It's a good light beer. Do you want a beer? I didn't even ask you. No, you're good. Right. <laughs> Thank you though. Well, we're kind of set up. Uh, I pop my windows open on the van, just chilling. I don't have the side windows open, uh, just the little screen ones for now. The low tonight is like 56, 57, so it's gonna be a beautiful night, not too worried about it. And uh, maybe at some point we'll take a wander or maybe drive over and go look at the lake because we are on a huge lake out here. So we're just gonna hang out and drink some brews. We've got a good dinner to cook tonight. The dinner that I did not cook on the last video that I told you guys about. He's getting his t windows opened up. Yeah, it is warm in here. I imagine it's a little <laughs> stuffy. All right, cheers, y'all. Oh, <laughs> dog got away. Oh, I got peed on your leash. <laughs> peed on the leash. Uh, the joys of camping. You have a wagon you carry around in? Well, we haven't tried yet. But it's a well, we had Ozark Trail little off road, that little collapsible off road wagon. Oh, right? yeah, they pray. I love it. Come on. We had big ambitions to go hiking in South Dakota, but it took us longer to get there. Yeah, and yeah. then we realized that we didn't want to leave like the truck with all the All your stuff. Gone away from it. Phoebe, come on. Yeah. But also, Don't the trail entrance also had a thing for snakes, and I'm not a snake person. I, I saw that, and I was like, Kyle, you're on your own. Uh, yeah, like oh yeah, they got rattlesnakes out yeah. there. I, I didn't know that, so I was immediately done. <laughs> I was like, okay, no trails for Kelsey. We gotta go to Chimney Rock. They got rattlesnakes out there too. Yeah. All right, y'all. We uh, we wandered over to the park over there. I went down the slide. Didn't film any of that. Kyle did like two seconds on a swing, and he was done. It's weird. Swings are weird as an adult, uh, especially if you haven't done them in a while. But we're gonna take a walk over here to the lake, see what that looks like. Maybe dip my toes in the sand, we'll see. We made it down here to the water. It's a really cool area and you can see that they have some fire pits down here and picnic tables, but it's day use only, no camping. It's kind of a bummer because the campground is way up yonder that direction, not on the lake at all. You've got this huge, gorgeous lake here. That's the dam over there. Yeah, these are prime camping areas. Wonder if you could get away with like parking here and if you kept the fire going all night, like you stay up all night and go fishing. Oh yeah, that's crazy. It's like a memoriam fire pit, it's pretty cool. Huh. I could stay here and cook some food. Yeah. There you go, y'all. Is there a trail? Yeah. All right, we gotta go down to the beach. I usually don't tell you guys where I'm at, especially in Nebraska, but I feel like we're farther away, far enough away from everything that we can let you know. We're at Calamus Reservoir, and uh, no health alerts at this time. Yeah, I might put my toes in the water here. Look at this. 
Look at this. <laughs> what do you think? You like the beach? <laughs> Somebody was building sandcastles down here. <laughs> this is gorgeous, guys. It's really a shame that you can't camp closer to the water, but you can come down here and go swimming and the water is very clear. Maybe you can tell on camera. I don't want to get in the water right now. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Huge lake. Way that way. <laughs> Check that out. Somebody built themselves like a, a castle down here. You've got a, a bridge. That's the prison. This is the pool. It's where Simba the lives. Lake. Oh yeah, the pool over there. There's, there's the dock. Thought don't ruin the little people's house. Yeah, they use tree bark all the way around. And yeah, there's a boat around it. Somebody spent some time. Yeah. That's cool that they put like even the, the grass and stuff in there. <laughs> Uh. It's hot. get dinner going y'all. Kyle has tossed a couple hot dogs on there um, and I have brought some burgers. We've got some everything buns. Got Velveeta bacon mac and cheese and a couple different kinds of burgers here. So I picked these up. These were for the last video that I didn't make. These are gourmet jalapeno pepper jack steakhouse burgers. There's a couple of those in there from Hy-Vee. And then we also have these regular old, well, I guess they're prime rib burgers, prime rib steakhouse burgers. So we might make a few of those also. So the plan is to make hamburgers and then smother them in mac and cheese. We also have some hot sauce that I've never tried. And this is from Bucky's, the gas station. This was sent into the P.O. box. So we've got Bucky's scorpion pepper hot sauce that we're gonna give that a try. But we need to throw some of these uh, burgers on the grill and we're gonna boil up some water and get this mac and cheese going. We're just gonna start with these pepper jack ones. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, it's warm. Hi, buddy. Hmm. I bought another bag of the truffle chips that I had in the last video so these guys could try them. But I do have some other chips that I have not had, so we'll give those a whirl too. Going. We're just going to use our uh, jet boil to boil some, boil some water up. It should be all right. Spilling water. There's 
a lot of flies out here, y'all. There was, oh yeah, I thought there was a separate bacon there packet is. and a couple of noodles I missed. Time for the goop. The cheese product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten million flies. Mm -hmm. Well, that's broken. Yeah. Never heard of that. <clears throat> as long as you, the flies don't get in the cheese, we're all good. There's a tick now that if it bites you, you become allergic to red meat. Yeah, meat. Yeah. That's sketchy. Give me Lyme disease over there. <laughs> yeah. Although I know a dude who had Lyme disease and dude was, was not no died. Yeah, mm -hmm. he he did not he did not end up well after that one. Mm -hmm. He's doing good now though. Flies are so bad. Yeah, flies are ridiculous out here. There's no breeze right now, which isn't helping our cause any, guys. All right, pulled everything off the fire. I think it's all good to go. I'm gonna sit on my dirty old sogies. Don't wanna break my trash there, I guess. Um, we popped these open, Honey Dijon chips. It's from the same company that has the, the truffle chips. I haven't had anything from these guys that I haven't liked. These are also very tasty. Uh, so we've got our lightly toasted bun. And we've got some mac and cheese here. It's been done for a couple of minutes, but. We're gonna go ahead and do the old mac and cheese burger. That's the way to do it. So I feel like it could be slightly more cheesy. If you were gonna do this in your own personal restaurant, I suppose. You want some of this? No, I'm good, thank you. We're definitely not gonna use it all on the burgers. <laughs> no, I didn't try it on the hot dog. Watch her, she's gonna come and take your food. Use that to. You doing? I'm gonna put some on the hot dog. Oh, yeah, you're good. And then I'm gonna put some of this on the burger. Yeah, here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheesy dogs. <laughs> you got your silver over there? I'm gonna throw the lid back on that guy. Yeah. Mm, I'm going. I have a feeling this one's going to be really hot. <laughs> Scorpion pepper, fiery hot sauce. We're going to find out. I shook it up. It's kind of a runny one. I have a feeling that's going to be <laughs> entirely too much, but we're going to find out. We're going to try it on something before I dive into it. Yeah, I might have. <clears throat> I might have just made myself had a bad night, but <clears throat> let's see. It smells like a hot one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a little warm. A little, little it builds spicy. too. It's good though. Got man, can't keep my mac and cheese on my burger. Got a race car in the background. Get it. Just gotta mash it on there. I'm gonna lose all of it. Alright. Bacon, mac, and cheese, jalapeno burger. Okay, we're gonna take it easy with that. It's warm. It sneaks. Mm. It's so butter. I can taste the sauce. It's good though. Burgers like perfectly done too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's good, y'all. I like that. How about you doing, buddy? If you want to add a little fluff to your cheeseburger, 
put macaroni and cheese on it. And it's got a bit of the bacon flavor in it, so mm -hmm. not too shabby. <laughs> I'm getting the hiccups. <laughs> that spicy sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like your flies. Yeah, the flies are ridiculous. Oh, it's hot. Yep. Just took a full bite of it. It's hot for sure. I'm getting the hiccups. That's, uh, hopefully <laughs> there was no what? Why in my beer? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's only happened to me one other time. It's warm for sure. <clears throat> I might have put too much on my burger. Mm -hmm. And there's some in my mac and cheese that I'm going to eat off this dirty table. Beer. It's spicy. <laughs> you want to try the hot sauce? <laughs> I'm good. Your guys' reaction is not very convincing. That's a spicy one. There's plenty more mac and cheese in here if you want it. It just lingers too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's actually got a little bit of flavor to it. A little bit of flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Like past the hot, it's very hot. That is a very spicy sauce. Scorpion pepper, they weren't joking. Huh? Hmm? What? All right, well, it's probably a little hard to see me with the, the lighting in here now, but we've made it in the rig, y'all. It's getting late. Uh, dinner was great. We sat around and hung out by the campfire this evening. It was a good time, as usual. Try to get my junk situated in here. All right, y'all. Well, I already took my pants off. Checked my phone and did a little bit on that. Well, I'm just gonna get headed to bed here. Trying to get up at a reasonable time in the morning. To get out of here. So I can get home tomorrow and edit a video for you. Last the last video, I guess. Timeline stuff, you know. Keep it going, but I wanna get this camera shut off. I'm gonna take my shirt off. <sighs> Tuck myself in here. I sleep. I sleep uh, at a diagonal because the bed's so much longer if you sleep this way. Might as well, right? I could stretch out completely straight this direction. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning. Morning, y'all. I can hear those. I can hear those guys moving around. Oh. They wake over there. Oh, I don't know what the heck is it? Six fifty-six in the morning, and it's fifty-six degrees out. I was actually chilly. I woke up cold. I had all of the windows open. Well, the small windows. And this blanket I have is just like a throw blanket, so it's not very long. So I had to get up in the middle of the night and put on my pajama pants. But it's going to start warming back up. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday here, 100 and 101. So we've got warm weather coming back. Um, but we've got some stuff to do to the van. I don't know. I'm just gonna. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna kind of get my stuff rounded up this morning. And we'll probably hit the road pretty quick. I've got like a four hour drive home. So, yeah. Ooh, good morning, Todd. Well, we're kind of getting our stuff packed up. I guess I am packed up. Uh, Got the doors open, letting the dirty night farts air out. <laughs> and uh, 
Kyle's getting his stuff taken down. But. Well, it was a pleasure hanging out with you guys. Yeah. Things are coming all the way. Yeah. And uh, we'll do it again. Um, the weather is getting nice, guys. If you guys can't tell, I have a hoodie on. It's kind of crisp this morning. But, yeah. Where is my junk? All right. We are GPS and it's actually a little faster than I thought. Three hours this morning, not bad. Yeah, Calamus Reservoir, y'all. I don't usually give the spots away, but there's one for you. <laughs> but for most of y'all, in fact, probably all of y'all, it'd be a bit of a drive to get here, so have fun with that. Uh, the campsites, there's multiple campsites at this lake, as far as I know, and this is the only time I've been at one of the campgrounds. And this, this one isn't bad. Uh, it's a weekday. And it's still busy here, so keep that in mind. But it's a nice spot. Feet, turn right toward Dam Road. And there's a shower house right there. And my windshield is fogging up. And I still got my back glass popped. That's how we roll, I guess. Well, y'all, uh, I just stopped at the Casey's here. Where am I? I'm in Ord, Nebraska. And uh, I ran into some folks at the gas station. Took a picture, and it was cool. They were... Head north on South 14th Street toward M Street. Then turn left onto M Street. It was the same couple that I met. Oh, gosh. I, I didn't get that on video either, but that was a few... A couple months back, maybe. Uh, I met them at a gas station while I was headed out this way. They were on their motorcycle, but um, they are the one that sent in, I believe, the sunflower oil that I've used. It's in the box back there I used on one video, maybe. And when I saw them, their kids weren't with them, and their kids were pretty disappointed. And I think the dad saw me pull into the gas station here and called the fam over. Uh, but their daughter and their two sons were here. That was cool. I guess they enjoy the video. So I took a picture with the boys and yeah, talked to him for a while. I think everybody's going to school. It's like, yeah, it's 7.58. Everybody's on the way to school. That was cool though. It's always cool to meet you guys. And like I've said before, if you see me out in public anywhere, by all means, stop me and say hello. I can't remember if I've ever had the Casey's iced coffee, but that's not terrible. It's not bad at all. They don't have like a just a regular flavor. They have mocha and vanilla and s'mores and whatnot, but gotta stay with the lid in here. And I've grabbed myself a little bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. I'm gonna smash that quick. I was hoping, although it sounds bad, I was hoping that I had less gas because I wanna I finally remember to reset my trip odometer. And the mileage has been incredibly good. I'm at a half a tank, and it's gonna go a little faster, I think, for the rest of the tank, but I'm at a half a tank, and I've already put 245 miles on, so I'm excited to see what the mileage is uh, before I get home. I'll have to fill it up, but we'll at least use another quarter tank, then we'll stop and fill it up, and I'll let you guys know what the mileage is. But I'm gonna shove this one in and uh, get back on the road. Well, Kyle caught up with me. Uh, I did stop and have that breakfast and whatnot, and uh, 
He can go faster than I can. I mean, I can push 70 in this, but I don't want to. I've got my cruise control set at 62. Speed limit is 65, so that, uh, that Lego head that he's got on his snorkel is awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys at the next gas stop. Coming back from Calamus, I was out there last night. Oh, were you? Yeah. The, one of my buddies was out at Overland Expo in Colorado, and they were coming back, so yeah. Went out, hung out with that. I see. Are you bad? Oh, not too bad. Just trying to irrigate and all that crap. I just live out in town here on the blacktop. Oh, shit. Are you? Uh, Vivid irrigated then? Yeah. Yeah. Man, that vine's nice. Where'd you find this thing? Uh shoes Yeah. Alright, man. Well, we'll see you later. It's good to see you too. Alright. Gas station encounter number dose for the day. Um, let's see here. Let's do our mileage here. There was a video where I was out camping and uh, is it Todd? Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, uh, he drove through and saw me and ended up hanging out and spending the night that night. Well, let's do our mileage. So my, my thing is right between 339 and 340. It was going to 340. We'll say 340 miles divided by, what did I put in? 18.69. Equals 18.1 miles to the gallon. I was really hoping for 20, but 18's good. That's way better than the truck gets. So I'm stoked on that. Uh, but anyways, y'all, it's been a cool trip. And I'm seeing people and uh, just enjoying it. So I got to jam home and get last video edited and put that out. And then, yeah, I've got some parts that showed up in the mail for the van that we'll get put on probably in the next video we'll get after all that stuff and as always stay tuned for the next adventure i'll see you in a bit where my keys go in my pocket 18 miles to the gallon that ain't bad that ain't bad